Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw Freddy versus Jason. Um, you know, Freddy Krueger versus Jason Voorhees. Just kind of like a standoff shot, very similar to their movie poster. Um, but yeah, that's it. Simple stuff, and let's get started, okay? First thing I do, I'm going to draw Jason's mask on this side. Excuse me. What I'm going to do is, uh, Jason's mask is going to be pretty easy. It's going to be like, here's a line for the forehead, right? For the most part, the forehead. Curving in just a bit, because that mask pulls in for the brow. Out over here for the end of the mask, in. And then we're going to have the lower mouth section of the mask. Right on. Go here to the top. Curve. And it's actually going to curve all the way down to the bottom there. circle right here for the side of uh, the strap that's on. Before I do that, I'm going to actually draw the, the top of the head here. I'm going to draw the bald look back, right? And it's going to curve right here. Before it reaches that point, though, I'm going to draw this, this line out, down, in, right? Huh. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm kind of tired. And then I'm going to pull down here for the rest of the back of the head. And we're, it's going to roll into the back of the neck, really. Nothing too wild, nothing too amazing. Pulling in here for the lower portion, down here for the neck. Not very hard, honestly. You can draw maybe, maybe the back of the jaw here, a line right there, but... Mm, again, his ear is all messed up, so it doesn't really matter. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in most of this uh, band, this elastic band that there. You can do all of it, you can do some of it, totally your decision. Okay, let's go in here to his eye. It's got a more of an elongated shape here because it's uh, you're seeing it from the right side, uh, from, you know, the side. And I'm gonna fill that in. Gonna draw a couple of dots, obviously, that, that hockey masks have for breathing. Some on the front there. Gonna draw maybe like a four net network here on the side. And I think he has like three over here on the cheek. Pretty, pretty reasonable stuff. And uh, he has this line pointing up into his eyes from the side here. It's like a flat line like that. We're gonna fill that in. Normally it's supposed to be red, but I'd rather just fill it in. Okay, and let's draw Freddy's face over here. Let's try to get it across just with a face without the hand having to be in it. Um, but let's just try the face, okay? So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to draw a curve line in for the outside of the... Um... Oh, also, don't forget, sorry. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. It helps the whole channel out uh, as far as like growth and production, and it just it does a lot for the channel. So absolutely hit that subscribe and click that bell notification. Uh, and what that's going to do is it's going to show you the videos um, in a thumbnail format as you're scrolling around one day on your feed. And since I post every day, you'll just kind of, you know, one of the 30 thumbnails you'll scroll by will be mine, and it'll it'll let you know what I'm going over. Um, and so there's no downside to it. So make this the video you subscribe in, uh, and you're always going to get those announcements whenever they come up. All right. Okay. So it's going to be right here. And now we're going to go into his nose and, you know, line out. And Robert England, by the way, the actor that plays him has a bit of a hook nose down. I kind of have that as, I don't know if I have that as much as him, but I have a big nose as well. So I kind of relate. Pulling in, meaning it, it hangs down just a bit over your mouth, especially if you angle downward and when you smile. Back over here. All right. What I'm going to do before I do all that, though, is I'm going to throw that hat in there. So he's got that brim of that hat. Pulling up here in the front, up over here on the side. Curve down right on and i guess you could pull up the back of the hat as well doesn't look as cool from the side honestly but 
You can throw a line across here because there is a band on top of that. Like so. Because of that, his head's going to be wider because of that really wide brim hat. And, mm. and uh, yeah. So let's continue the face first. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to find the curvature of the nostril. I'm going to find the nostril. Wing of the nostril here, the outside. Line out here for the front of the eye. Kind of like a Pac-Man shape, right? So it's going to be the bottom of the eyelid and the top of that eyelid up. And I'm going to give him, see this line right here. It's going to curve like so because he's going to be angry looking at, um, at Jason here. Curve right here. If you have any ideas for other videos, let me know. I'm drawing a thin line right there because it's showing the pupil in the iris in the front. And middle line down here. Side of the cheek. Front of the upper lip here. Pulling back. You see his teeth open up. And then a curve on the under lip. And it's going to roll down into his chin. Okay. Back here, find the back of the jaw. And then we're going to find his really gross looking ear, but it's more, more, it is relatively just an ear. And then for the inner ear right here, I'm also going to draw this curve shape, another curve shape. And let's find the back of the skull here for him, and it's going to curve down under the throat here. And then we find the Adam's apple and go down here. And then it's going to like, you can crop this off like at the sweater and you can do something like that with him because I know he's got like the, the coat or something like that. That doesn't really big deal. So what's up with him right now? He looks like a normal older dude or something, right? Or it looks like me. Let's draw the center of his teeth. And now what we're going to do is draw the pizza face that he has. So I'm going to draw that in thinner lines, by the way. The reason you want to draw that in thinner lines See that pizza shape? It's like this pepperoni stuff. You want to draw this in thinner lines. And the reason you want that is because it won't, it won't um over it won't be too central, like you won't focus too much on it. Um you know that it's like the texture of his skin as opposed to anything else. And inside those shapes, you can draw these things, like these thin lines. You know? Like so, like so, like so. And you just draw these shapes all over the place. Because he's got that burnt skin, obviously, going on. Uh, draw even like a deeper darkness here on the eye. Draw these like all the usual kind of signs of aging, but he's got them like a uh, hundredfold because he's got the pizza stuff on it. He's got that screwed up burnt skin. So, and you can just kind of go around here and keep that going for a while. Be careful, like I said, try to keep the line thin because if it overdoes it, it's just going to look like a big mass of nothing. So you kind of want to kind of keep that, right? Right on. That's He does have like a different look on the side there with not showing his claw. If you want, you can throw the claw on the back, but I don't know. I want to try to do it without the claw. You know, if you get across that, hey, this is a burnt, uh, you know, Freddy Krueger. Um, and Freddy Krueger is awesome, so it's kind of, you know, it basically is Robert England, pretty much. And draw some lines over here for the teeth. I don't really know. Sometimes he has sharp teeth, sometimes he has normal teeth, but there you go. Thank you so much. Uh, like I said, also don't forget to hit the like. The likes are what fuel the channel. It's basically like throwing coals onto the fire. Definitely press that like button. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any other ideas and I will do them that are horror related. See you soon, all right? Stay tuned for the announcement, by the way. I'm gonna talk to you about how you can upgrade your skill and your drawing ability overall. And I have ways to do that. So stick around for that. 
Hey, for those of you that are a little bit more serious and you really want to kind of upgrade your art skill all around, uh, I have these beginner art lessons here on my Skillshare. So the idea with this is that some people that, you know, for example, on YouTube, people just kind of want to draw what's in the video and just generally have a fun time. They're not always concerned about the little details and stuff about learning uh, how to do this stuff, you know, long term. Um, and I get that. That's fun. But for some people, some people want to upgrade their art ability entirely, like all around, like they're serious about it. If that's you, go here. Um, like I said, there's programs here on even some of the same material. Like I said, it's just a lot more in depth. My eye drawing program is an hour as opposed to the video I have on YouTube, which is like 10 minutes, right? You can still learn from both. But like I said, if you really want more and you really want to make this part of your life, go here. Um, I have same thing over here, how to draw a dragon head. I have anime, I have cartoons. There's categories for everything and everything is for beginners. Um, the other thing about this website is it's incredibly easy to watch it. This is like the Netflix of like drawing lessons. So you can go through the entire site, see everybody else's lessons. And normally the, the site costs like 30 to 40 bucks a month. Um, because you're watching this video right now, if you're still watching right now, you get it for free for at least a month like 30 days, that's a lot. Um, but just you, what you have to do is go over here to the video, go down first link in the description, the very, very first link that gives you free access to this whole thing for 30 days. Um, you just go over here, you click this thing, boom, and then you sign up. Um, and it's super easy. And the, the cool part is you can just straight up cancel it before the 30 days is up and you never pay a single thing. You never pay a cent and you got all this learning from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that's uh, an option for you guys. Uh, if you guys wanna do it, absolutely go hit that up um, and that's it.